So, Bobby, how did you get into whitewash surfing? Well, technically it's a pretty long story, but I'll cut it short for you. Basically, when I was young, our family didn't have a lot of money. And instead of washing me in the shower, mum would throw me in the washing machine. And, you know, I'd get, I'd get tumbled around like this little rag doll. And, you know, I loved it as a kid, but, you know, sometimes I'd really hurt myself. But, you know, mum, mum couldn't afford to have, you know, electricity for the shower and stuff. So she threw us in the washing machine, basically. And I got this addiction to getting thrown around in, in, in white water, pretty much. And, you know, I just ended up loving it. And I went to the beach one day, you know, I got a surfboard. It was like five dollars from council clean up or something for my birthday. And mum took me to the beach and she goes, go in the water, you, you'll like it. So I went in the water and, you know, I got tumbled around like I did as a kid when I was getting washed in the washing machine. And ever since then, you know, my life dreams has been to become a pro whitewash surfer. And, you know, to be honest, I fucking love it. So, Bobby. Do you need some sort of special diet for this profession? Well, yeah, I do actually. Um, I've got a really, really tight nutrition diet, come to think of it. Potatoes and beer is the main thing. Lots of potatoes and lots of beer. Lots of carbs, pretty much. You know, lots of energy. Because I need my energy when I'm going down that whitewash. Because, you know, it just takes it out of you all the time. Um, so, basically... Also, every morning I drink an egg, you know, because one of my friends, she's a girl and she's, she's balsamic, and what happens is when she eats, she, like, she has to go to the bathroom, and it, I don't know, she says she like, brings it back up, and, but she gets all the nutrients, so I do that, I don't really know why I do it, but I do it anyway because she says it's good. So I do that every morning. I eat my potatoes and I drink my beer. and That pretty much sets me, you know, when my competitions come up and stuff, I've got lots of energy. So yeah, that, that's pretty much my nutrition. So Bobby, are you sponsored? Mm. Yeah, I am. Um, basically all I've got to do for my sponsor is I've got to go in every two weeks and I've got to fill out these papers and, you know, I just I just use the phone book and I just they just want to know what companies are in there and um, basically when I do that every two weeks I get my pay and that's pretty much my sponsorship you know Santa looks good okay well so Bobby what type of training schedule do you have mm. mate I've got a pretty tight training regime. I don't, I don't like to do too much swimming because, you know, when I'm in the whitewash, I'm just constantly battling my upper body. You can see it's pretty toned these days. But, um, yeah, so basically, I'll do water running. You know, I'll run across the water for the resistance on the ankle. Um, I'll do push-ups, you know, for the upper body. You can see. And um, cross-country running for me is a big one. I really like to do cross-country running. So, what's your best manoeuvre? My signature move, I'd have to say, is the 360 floater. There's honestly nothing better than pulling off that trick on this massive whitewash. It's just epic. One of my other moves that I really love to do is the semi face plant. That is just a beautiful move, I'd say. And also, one of my other favourites, it's not, it's not that hard, but, you know, it does get me a lot of points if I pull it off a lot, is the paddle, you know? When I'm just constantly paddling, I'm just bashing it, you know? It's, it's, it's fucking sick, you know? It's good. Yeah.
So, Bobby, how do you get on with the locals? I get on really well with the locals, to be honest. Everyone loves me. Where's the ball, bruh? Fuck off, you loser. Fuck off. <laughs> See you at the pub later, bruh. See you, mate. You know, sometimes I even find it hard to leave my house without some kid coming up to me saying, can I have your autograph, Bobby? And especially when I'm coming out of those competitions, you know, my head held high. I, I know that I've won the competition, especially when I pulled off those paddles and those 360 floaters. But yeah, locals, I get on really well. I've been here for, you know, 20 odd years and I can pretty much say hello to anyone. And they so Bobby, what's with that hairstyle for um, this decade? Look, you know, I, I do get a lot of people coming up to me and saying, you know, what's with the hair, but what they don't know is, like I told you before, my mum didn't have a lot of money when we were young and she couldn't afford dummies or anything. And, um, you know, I could never suck on my thumbs or anything because, you know, half the time they were broken or they had, you know, like bong juice on them and stuff. And so what I used to do, what mum used to do is before I went to bed, she used to put my hair in my mouth as like a dummy so I could suck on it. So I wouldn't, you know... So I wouldn't bite myself or, you know, so I was comfortable as a kid. And, you know, that was a really lovely thing of my mum to do. Um, you know, I really loved it. I still do it today, to be honest. Just sucking on my hair before I go to sleep. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's, good. it's good. Reminds me of my mum. So, Bobby Maverick, uh, thanks for the interview. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Um, I'd like to say thanks for having the interview. I love doing this sort of stuff, you know. I love getting out there and telling people, you know, the profession I do and, and how they can get into it because, you know, it's a life-changing experience, to be honest. I'd also like to say thanks to my sponsors, you know, for paying me every two weeks and, and uh, really helping me out with uh, the board purchases and, you know... All, all the, you know, the broken bones I get, all that sort of stuff, you know, the medical bills. I'd also like to say thanks to my mum. She was a good woman before she got hit by the truck, but yeah, that's, that's probably about it, but uh, thanks guys.